Okay guys, let's try the second portion of this titration problem. So we're still finding the pH during a weak acid strong base titration, but this is the second point in the curve. So we've added some NaOH, but it hasn't gotten to the equivalence point yet. Okay, so let's figure out how do we do this type of a problem. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is write out a reaction equation of the things that are reacted. Okay, so the first thing we got here is the propionic acid, so CH3, CH2, CH, aqueous, and that is reacting with NaOH at this point in time, okay? Because that's a strong base. So just react it with the OH minus anion. If you put the Na in there, it's going to come to you, okay? So aqueous. Remember, this reaction, straightforward reaction, okay? So we're going to get CH3, CH2, COO minus aqueous plus H2O liquid. Okay? But notice, so unlike the ones we've done before, right, the volumes here are different. Okay? So we're going to have to calculate moles at this point. So this is where we use our volumes. Okay? So this is a nice table. And we start with 0 0.1000 molar and 40 mils. So let's figure out the number of moles of propionic acid, okay? Yeah. So 0 0.1000 moles per one liter, like that, right? And we've got um, 0 0.04000 liters, right? So cancel, cancel. So that's going to be 0 0.004000 moles. Like that. Okay? I did that right, right? So this one, if you calculated it the same, right, the number of moles of NaOH is going to be 0 0.003000 moles. Okay. You both okay with doing that? Yeah, I don't have to show that calculation. So here we'll put 0 0.003000 moles. Okay. So we didn't start with any of this stuff, so it's zero there. Okay, so remember we said this is going to completely react with this, right? This is the limiting reagent in this particular reaction, so we're going to lose all of it. Does that make sense? Okay. Does it make sense to you guys? Okay. 0 0.003000 0 .00300. That's going to give us zero there, right? So we're going to react it with this stuff, right? So we're going to lose the same amount of that stuff, right? So the acid, 0 0.003000. Okay. So what are we going to get down here? 0 0.001000. Now remember, this is moles, not molarity, okay? Like, it usually is molarity in these ice tables. Right now it's moles. Okay, so when we did that, right, well, what happened over here? Well, we had to add 0 0.3. So we've got that. Okay. Is everybody okay with what we've done so far? So the volume of our solution is going to be the, the equivalent, right? On, if we're looking for the volume of this or the volume of this, okay? So the volume
volume will be equivalent because it's all in the same container. Okay, so no longer are we comparing this volume to this volume. Both volumes are 70 mils. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? So I, what I can do is use the Ka equation, right? Just using these numbers here, I don't have to change them to concentration values because it's the same ratio of the moles as it would be to the concentration because both volumes are the same. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to erase this step up here. Okay. And we would do another ice table, but since we're doing the 5% rule, we don't have to worry about worrying about what these concentrations would be, okay? The only thing we have to worry about is what X is down here, H3O plus, okay? So these are the concentrations we can the water would be bad, right? From the ice table. Do you want me to write out the ice table? No. You sure? Because I can. Okay. It, so these would be our concentrations from the ice, or the moles from the ice table. And remember, Ka equals, well, the concentration of C, C6, H5, COO minus um, times H3O plus divided by C6 H5 C H. Okay? So like that. Where is that from? CH3 CH2 C O O H, right? Oh. Oh, we're doing a different. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. It is a different acid. You're absolutely wrong. So C H3. Remembering the problem we did yesterday. And are those numbers from the ice, from the original? Ice no, from that ice I table, this that one here, that I didn't do. Because okay. the water was. But don't water. worry, it's okay. from this other ice table, okay? So I can start this recording over if you guys want, okay? So, okay. So, this is the equation we're using here, okay? So I apologize for putting C6 to H5. Um, so, we're going to rearrange this to solve for H3O plus, right? Because we're looking for pH. So, it's going to equal Ka times the concentration of CH3, CH2, and COOH divided by CH3, CH2, CO, like that, okay? But, remember these concentrations, it's going to be per 70 mils, or 0 0.070 liters, right? Point divided by 0 0.070 liters, so both of those will cancel out, okay? So we can use the moles here, instead of just the uh, molarity, so we don't have to calculate molarity. So here, Ka, 1.3 times 10 to the negative fifth times the moles of acid, 0 0.001000 divided by the moles of base, 0 0.003000, like that. And then I'm going to erase all this down here. That's going to equal H3O plus. So, Times 10 to the negative 6. 
and I'm just pushing answer in line, so you might get a different um, pH, like slightly different. So 5.36 is the pH of the solution. And you would expect it to have gone up because you added NaOH. Okay. Are there any questions about this one? Questions, questions? Hold your peace, if no. Okay, wonderful.